Hello, this is Stu Powers. Um, today I uh, want to uh, well welcome you to uh, episode 31. I'm going to um, go over using um, uh, a digital tool. Uh, in this case, I'm using Painter uh, 13, and I want to show you how to um, clean up a sketch so you can uh, post it online. Uh, I started to do this the other day, and I said, hey, this would be good because just because I do a lot of stuff in traditional uh, um, in books and I, I use pastels and pencils, traditional media, doesn't mean I, I don't use digital. In fact, that's how I started getting into this. I started using the digital and realized I needed to uh, do more of that and uh, enjoy working with pencils so much. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up uh, just a little caveman uh, design sketch I did scanned it in and you can see how um, some of the areas of it are you know it's that's where the binder was this has already been uh, slightly cropped you can see I, I got the same over here because the pages moved a little bit um, I have the date in there I always date my stuff um, I don't sign it uh, but I will usually afterwards because um, it's a design sketch this is a sketchbook this is not made for prime time in the sense. I do like the little character, but there's not much of a composition. The little ground plane, some drop shadows, that's about it. And uh, he's standing uh, next to a rock. So just just enough for the pose. But what I want to do here is I'm going to hit uh, contr um, Control Shift, or actually Control New. I want to do a 9 by 12, 1300. Now this is going to move my canvas. Uh, let's go back in here and hit Control All. Control copy, go back to the new one, and you can see how this. Uh, no, I don't. Let me get rid of that one. You can see how this is a um, bit smaller, quite a bit smaller. I think it's a 5x7 or 5x8, what have you. Now I'm going to move this up and over, crop what I can of that. See how much of this I can fit into a 9 by 12. Pretty decent amount of it. No. I think the editing tools are far better in Photoshop than they are in Painter. Let's go up to this here. Get out of that. But what I like about Painter so much is um, the real brushes. It really does have a good feel to it. So let's do that. Hit Enter. It's not a bad place for it to be. And you see how it cleans up a lot of it. But down here I have some stuff. I have a uh, pencil mark there. Um, I did clean up a lot of it just by uh, cropping it like that, and um, I could have turned it too, probably. Not sure if I can get away with it now. Uh, escape. Oops. Escape here. Okay. Deselect. Well, let's go back to brushes. That will take it out. Now I want to zoom out a bit here. Now, I'll give me my controls back. Um, yeah, that was what, nope, there we go. Hitting the control, I can rotate it just enough to, oops, get it look more straight up and, oops, straight up and down. Still a little bit finicky. Okay. Not sure if I did much on that. I don't really want much. So, again, hit enter. It does that. Now I can zoom back in here and move it around a little bit. Now, let's put a new layer in here. Use the cloning tool. And you get two choices. This is rubber stamp, and this is what it's called. But it is cloning, so go back to this. I will increase that brush just a little bit. 
and then we'll take that out. Let's move it around. I'm hitting the space bar to get that going. Now th that wasn't much to clean up in here because I did a lot of it in the cropping. Um, you know, uh, really, it is just for for that. Now, let's put another layer on this. I mean, if I did a lot of cleaning up, uh, I'm definitely going to clean it up on a, a layer above it because if I don't like it, I can just go back and go right back to uh, what it was. So now let's go to the brush and now I'm going to bring out the tablet. That was all done with um, uh, uh, with a um, with a mouse, by the way. Now let's zoom. I'm going to zoom back out here, and that's hitting the Alt key. I wish it was zoom in just a little bit more controlled. Well, yeah, what have you. Now. Go back to brush, and I like this real brush pencil. Um, you can use the hotkeys, or you can just go up here, bring it up, and this one I can. You can see how I can just um, tilt the pencil back. Now this is why I like sketching with this; is very nice. And uh, but let me see. Oops. Okay. Oops. Control all delete. Now yeah, I think that brush is a little bit too big. It's hard to tell sometimes. So oops. Yeah, probably. Let's try that. little sloppy not bad uh, it's not the darkest but I don't really want it too dark and I don't really need it to be too dark either because if I duplicate the layer it'll stand out a little bit better kind of wrote that on a uh, whoops there. Come on. Let's link these layers to oops, select these two layers. I'm going to transform them. Oops. Again. One, two, there we go. Spin it just a little bit. Bring it down in here. I don't want it to overpower um, the sketch either with my signature. So I just, again, use that little transform tool. It is a beautiful thing. That's Control T. I've uh, actually used this um, in Painter. You're allowed to set it up so the controls are very similar to Photoshop. This way you um, don't have to, where well you don't have to uh, learn a new program. You just use the tools very with the same shortcuts. Now, by the way, you can see right down there. I didn't catch that before, so we'll go back to my cloning uh, layer. Um, set it over here. Oops, I'm gonna have to. Okay, let's zoom in first. So I'll go back to my stamp brush. That's pretty fast. Um, and I can take a quick look around. I mean, I can go in here and I could clean up a lot of the sketch, these sketch marks too, but it is what it is and it really is a sketch. And frankly, you could do that. You can go in here and go, ah, oh, geez, I don't like that either. That's something I didn't notice before on this, this shorter screen. But, um, Another reason to zoom in. I mean, most people aren't going to see this stuff because, uh, you know, they're going to view it on online anyways. But um, anything that will make it look um, as clean as you can, you know, do what you can do. 
I'm not going to get too uh, picky about this stuff. Whoops, wrong button. But you can see in, you can see in here, where. Now you can see how that using a Wacom tablet is a little nicer to use. And uh, you know, another thing too is to make this a little bit smaller too because um, you get a little bit more accuracy with doing it with a smaller one. You want to sneak up one too. I'm not going in here and trying to be um, too aggressive. But and I've actually gone in here with uh, Painter on a real sketch and actually just started drawing and they blend pretty well together. Real pencil in these a real pencil and uh, what a painter calls real pencils. I'm getting a little bit of lag here because I'm recording at the same time but you kinda get the, the hint, the gist of it. I'm not gonna do too much of it. I'm just really I'm going in here looking for um, the dirt or the uh, stuff that I didn't race fully when I meant to because um, the paper just won't give it up sometimes. Again, bring this down. Oops. See how it was dragging across that. So you kind of have to watch where that X is going when you're using the clone. So I don't want to clean it up too much. It is a sketch. I mean, I'm not going to get crazy about it. I tend to do that because you can sit here and noodle the heck out of these things, and um, which is fun. Don't get me wrong, but that is not the purpose of this tutorial. I wanted to show you how to um, clean up your um, analog sketches. <laughs> analog sketches traditional sketches with um, digital tools. So, bring that down here. And it would be nice to get that to center image. 100%. There we go. Now I'm going to hit control save. And I'm going to save this out as yes caveman in charcoal signed and I guess I have to put down the pen while I'm trying to type so and hit save on that and um, uh, brings this tutorial to a conclusion hopefully um, you um, can do this um, wh whether it's in paint or in Photoshop uh, Krita is uh, available too, and these are all pretty much standard tools. You might even be able to do some of this in GIMP. I haven't used it in a while. Um, I know the Wacom tablet support uh, hasn't been there for a while, so I don't know. Might want to give it a shot. Both Krita and GIMP are free. Uh, of course, Painter and Photoshop are not, and they're not the cheapest, but frankly, they are um, tools that you'll use for quite a while. So you have a good day, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.